The difference between a believer and a true follower of Jesus Christ is that the disciple, the true follower of Jesus, is led by the Holy Spirit. The true follower of Jesus knows the Master's voice. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. They listen to me and they follow me. If we truly believe in Jesus, then we will obey him. Obey his commands. Do what he told us to do. Repent. Turn away from sin and from going after our own thoughts, our own desires, and go after Jesus. We will stop sinning and live holy. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my words. He also said that the one who loves him is the one who obeys his commands. And him and the Father will come and dwell with that person, with him. And he will reveal himself to that person. He will give his spirit, the Holy Spirit, in that person. So that they will know Jesus for real. They will be able to hear his voice, listen to him, and follow him. If we truly seek Jesus, he will reveal himself to us. He is Lord and he speaks. And he guides all those who seek him, all those who seek life. If we need wisdom, we have to pray and ask Jesus, and He will guide us. He will give us wisdom. He will give us guidance. But many believers make the mistake of becoming familiar with Jesus. They think that they can sit down and have a conversation with Jesus. They think that he has to answer them every time that they ask something. They want to force him to answer. They only want to consult him about their life, about those things that are important to them. We cannot force God to answer us. We cannot force Jesus to give us an answer on a specific thing. We have to follow him. He will guide us. We have to ask him for wisdom. But we must realize that the things that are often important to us are not important to Jesus. What is important to Jesus is the kingdom of God, his kingdom. And Jesus will not always answer our questions in the way that we think or ask or demand. We must remember that the kingdom of God is about Jesus, about his kingdom, about serving him. Many people want to force God to answer them. True believers. But they do not understand that we have to wait on the Lord. We have to seek His kingdom, His will, His guidance on those things that are important to Him. Because if we follow Jesus, we are living for Him and his kingdom. The things that we are often worried about are not important. The knowledge that we think that we need is often not important. What is important is that we follow Jesus 
and that we be taught by him what he wants to teach us. We are free to ask anything from him. We can ask him understanding about anything. But he will answer in the time and in the way that he pleases. And often he will not answer us. Because the things that we are concerned about are trivialities. The things that many Christians are worried about have nothing to do with the kingdom of God. Many of them want to understand the Bible. They want to understand prophecy. They want to know about the future. They want to know about what they must do for their benefit. And I expect Jesus to always answer them. Many believers have tried to force Jesus to answer them. They think that they can pray and ask Jesus to give them an answer from the Bible. As though the Bible is a magic book. And then they open the Bible at random places and they find a scripture which they regard as guidance. We can receive a scripture as guidance, but once we start forcing Jesus or trying to force him to answer us, then we are on a dangerous road because we cannot force God. We cannot force Jesus to answer us. We have to seek him, seek his will, seek his guidance. And he will speak to you in his time and in his own way. He might speak to you in a voice that permeates your whole being, not just your ear. Or he might give you understanding. Suddenly you understand what you did not understand because he puts understanding in you. But we have to wait for His guidance and His answer. We have to seek His will. We have to seek His kingdom. We must pray about those things that we are concerned about, those things that we do not understand. But we must wait on the Lord and let Him guide us and teach us in His time. And when He speaks to us, when He reveals the truth to us or gives us understanding, then we will know when it is from Him. If you ask Jesus, He will answer you. But you have to trust Him. You have to wait for His answer in His time, in His own way. You cannot force Him. We have to humbly follow Jesus and seek his kingdom, his righteousness. If we trust him and stay with him, with time, he will reveal his ways to us and we will gain understanding. But those who try to force the hand of God, those who try to force an answer from the Lord will become confused. Never lean on your own understanding. Don't look to other people for guidance. Look to Jesus. Ask Him. Wait on Him. And expect Him. Trust Him. He will answer you. He will guide you. He has spoken to me many times in a night vision, in a dream, or just spoken through my whole being with a loud voice that was not in my ear but was in my spirit. And I knew it 
came from God. Often he did not answer my question, but he engineered my circumstances. He made things happen in his way, and when they happened, I saw it was the hand of God. We have to walk by faith, not by our own insight or by understanding. We have to submit ourselves to the Lord and humbly trust Him, wait on Him, and undividedly believe in Him. Then He will guide us, He will teach us. He will guide our footsteps and He will keep us from stumbling. But we have to stay with Him. We have to be serious about following Jesus Christ. Seek His will. Submit to Him. Trust Him. Wait on Him. And He will guide and teach you. He is our teacher. He is our Lord and Master. All we need is Jesus. But we have to trust Him and stay with Him. Without Jesus, we can do nothing. Submit to Him. Seek Him with all your heart. And He will reveal Himself to you. You will get to know Him for real. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.